I don't believe in boredom. Not in real life, and definitely not in second life. Because once you've got good friends and creators like High Five, you can turn a crab feast into full-blown madness. And somehow still call it dinner. It started like any normal virtual dinner party. First up, Clara, real-life vegetarian. Lovely, sweet, until she locked eyes with a crab on the table and named him Fred. They bonded, had a moment. She even gave him a backstory. Then five minutes later, she ate him. No hesitation. Fred was gone, emotionally confusing for all of us. Then there's Denise, who took one look at the table and went full anti-seafood activist. I quote, I'm not eating desecrated animals. She stuck to wine and judgment. Strong choices, honestly. Vincent and I, we're the butter squad. Cracking claws, making a mess, drowning everything in lemon and garlic like it's a religion. Then the icebreaker started. High Five didn't just stop at making a feast table. Pair it with their icebreakers and trivia sets, and suddenly you've got a full night of chaos, passive aggressive competition, and questionable facts. Did we learn anything? Nope. Did we accuse each other of cheating? Absolutely. Did Denise threaten to block Clara after Fred's murder? Also, yes. You don't need a fancy setup or a script. Just a well-made table, a group of friends who aren't afraid to be unhinged, and one very unfortunate crab. Second life isn't about perfection. It's about moments like this. Thanks High Five for reminding us that even pixel seafood can bring people together. Fred didn't die in vain. Rip Fred, gone but never digested emotionally.